welcome back. Uh, so much for it just being Canadian Thanksgiving. I had figured, you know, probably get a pretty quiet day. No. Uh, so, Shifley, Hellebuck, where are they going to end up? They're going to end up staying in Winnipeg. So, both players had said they were open to staying in Winnipeg, and a lot of the naysayers, the players don't want to play in Canada crowd, said, nope, they're gone, they're out, they're gone, that's it. Uh, Winnipeg's going to have to burn it to the ground. Winnipeg's going to have to trade Shifley. They're going to have to trade Hellebuck. And here we are. They're still there. And so for the Winnipeg Jets, uh, this is an interesting move. They signed both Shifley and Hellebuck to identical extensions. Seven years worth $8.5 million per season. Now, some of the details on Hellebuck's contract are out there from Cap Friendly. So $5 million signing bonus in year one for Hellebuck. I would think that Shifley probably gets the same thing. Uh, 10 team no trade clause starts July 1st of 2027. There's a no movement clause that kicks in in year one. So for both Hellebuck and Shifley, this gets them a ton of money, $59.5 million contracts for both players. Uh, and at the end of these contracts, both players will be 38 years of age. So yeah, uh, Winnipeg did, I think Winnipeg did a good job here. I know people are going to say that they're gonna to be too old at the ex expiration of these contracts. Um, but you look at the contracts around the league and this is kind of where things are headed and we will take a look back years down the road and see whether or not some of these contracts were a mistake. But I think for Winnipeg, Shifley and Hellebuck want to stay around. That's great. It's a good message for the team and it should boost them early in the season. So Shifley, his cap hit for this year is $6.125 million. Hellebuck's is $6.166 million, approximately. Uh, and so both of them get a nice healthy jump in their pay next year, which makes sense. Salary cap was much lower when Hellebuck and Shifley signed those deals than where it's going to be when these deals kick in. So with the salary cap presumptively being $87.5 million, somewhere in that region next year, uh, that would give the Jets about $18 million in cap space with them signed. So the Winnipeg Jets not only get this, this bit of uh, bookkeeping done for this year, but it puts them in pretty good shape going forward. So when we look at their lineup, and again, it's projected, and we'll see how quickly things change once you get into the games that matter in the regular season. But this first line of Connor, Shifley, and Velarde, I think is solid. And now that we know Shifley's not going anywhere, he's staying, um, that's that's good news, I think, for Winnipeg. Shifley should be back up to point per game. We'll see if he has another 40-goal season. But Connor and Velarde, if they can stay healthy, I think this line could produce really well. Uh, Ehlers, Perfetti, and Niederreiter, again, projected as second line. Niederreiter's on an expiring contract. But I think that's a solid second line. And if Perfetti can stay healthy, uh, he could be a guy that, that breaks through. Could be a really smart pickup if you're doing NHL fantasy. Third line of Iafalo, Lowry, and Appleton. I do wonder how long it's going to be before Iafalo pushes his way further up the lineup. Just because Iafalo is, is a competitor and he's a very good, a very intense player. At the very least, in the event that Ehlers does have some sort of an injury this season, which seems to be an annual thing, uh, Iafalo can jump into a top six role. And that's a decent scoring third line right there with Iafalo, Lowry, and Appleton. It's not going to wow anybody necessarily, but there's some scoring depth there. And then Baron, Kupari, and Nemesnikov projected as the fourth line. That's a pretty good fourth line. Kupari's already talked about how he wants to force his way further up in the lineup. Morgan Baron, I love his compete level. And Nemesnikov, uh, easy to forget Nemesnikov is part of the lineup, but uh, Nemesnikov is a useful bottom six forward as well. I like that forward group a lot. And then on the blue line, you've got Morrissey and DeMello. DeMello's on an expiring contract. Uh, Sandberg, Pionk, uh, Dylan is a UFA this coming summer as well, and Nate Schmidt. So the defense... I think has some good balance. There's a good mix of offensive and defensive-minded defensemen. We know what Morrissey can do. We saw that last season. So again, good top six. And then in net, you've got Hellebuck and Bressois. Bressois is on an expiring contract. Next up, I guess you could sit down with Bressois and say, hey, how about a two-year extension here? And again, with Hellebuck sticking around, with Shifley sticking around, it should be easier now for Winnipeg to entice other players to come in. So all of the doom and gloom that's been around Winnipeg all summer which I never, I never bought into and I never spread all the doom and gloom. It, it's just gone in an instant because now Shifley and Hallibach signed. Now all of the doom and gloom naysayers can just pivot and quickly go, they overpaid, these guys are going to be too old, this contract's going to be terrible, what a horrible decision by the Jets, this is stupid. So either way, but if you're a Jets fan today, I think you probably feel better about their chances, not just for this season, but beyond. I had wondered, you know, if Hellebuck and Shifley are out there as UFAs to be, 
coming up to the trade deadline, what might happen? Well, now we don't have to worry about it. The one thing, the one thing with this though, for Kevin Shovel Day off, if this team does not live up to expectation, if they do not reach the playoffs, if they fall off at all, uh, it it could very well come back and reflect on the job he's done putting this team together. But I, I think this is some tidy bookkeeping. Again, it's seven year extensions for both players. It does take till they're 38. For goaltenders, uh, there's less of a risk, especially those top end goaltenders will very often play into their late 30s. I think the Shifley deal is a little more risky. Uh, and again, I haven't seen the details on Shifley deal. I would think it's probably very similar, if not the same as the Hellebuck deal. But we'll see what happens, right? I like Shifley. It means my Shifley jersey's not going anywhere. I had thought, you know, I'm going to have to get a new Winnipeg jersey because Shifley's going to be gone. And now he's not. So there you go. I, I can't wear the Wheeler anymore, though. So anyways, there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, as always, always, especially Jets fans. I know Yvonne, I showed her. She was happy. She was like, good. I'm glad they're not going anywhere. And uh, let me know if you feel the same way. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.